Setting dates on discussion topics is a special case because there are two different kind of options, visibility and locking. This tutorial is going to explain how each behave. Now, you should note, though, that you should never set both the visibility and locking options. Choose one or the other because setting both of those can cause real confusion for your students based on how each behave, which is what I'm going to explain here. Um, so you should also know that you should never set these dates on discussion forums, only on discussion topics. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about here, make sure you go review the tutorial on understanding the structure of discussions because there are different things between forums and uh, topics. So let me start by explaining availability dates. And you got to remember that there's two different areas here. So how these topics behave in the course content area compared to the submission review area based on the option you choose are different and I know this is a little overwhelming but it's really important to understand so again I'm going to deal with availability options so I'm going to go into the submission review area and discussions and I'm going to look at discussion one here and I'm going to change the avail availability the availability deals with the way the discussion is viewed from the student, whether it's hidden or not. So I am going to make this topic available or visible on a future date, the date of this tutorial. So if you have a start date, what this means, and I'm going to go ahead and save and close this, and what this means from the student perspective, from the faculty perspective, it doesn't mean anything. So I'm going to change to a student, and I'm going to go into the submission review area, and what this means is that you can see that that discussion is now hidden from the student's view until that date is reached, until that start date is reached. In the course content area, however, I can see the discussion, but notice I can't see my discussion instructions in the course content area until that date is reached. Now, if I happen to have, let me go back here and set up a Let me set up an end date, the end date behaves in a similar manner. So if I say the end date for this was on the 6th, I'm going to do save and close, and I'm going to go ahead and view this as a student. Again, the two areas behave differently. In the submission review area, because that date has passed, students can no longer see the topic. In the course content area, again, I can't access the topic, which means that if you want your students to view their posts and other students' posts after the date has been passed that they can post, that, they, that they're allowed to post, using availability is not the option you want. So keep that in mind. That's not the option you want. If this is the option you want, that's fine. Now let's deal with the second option. So the second option, and again, what's really important is don't set both of these. If you're setting availability, do not mess around with the locking options. So by default, the topic is always available, always visible. So what does locking options do? So let me put a uh, start date in the future here. What locking options do is it allows you and allows the student to be able to see the discussion. So I'll go in both areas, submission review and course content. So they act the same. I can see the discussion. I can see my discussion instructions. But when a student clicks on a discussion, because the start date is in the future, they do not have start a thread. So they can't start the thread until that start date is reached. And the same thing happens in the course content area. So you can see here, it looks like, oh my god, it's available to me. They click on it, and again, it's locked, which means they can't view it. And the same thing happens with the end date. So if I set an end date on this, this particular discussion, and you can set start and end dates. They're, you know, I'm just choosing one or the other. So I'm going to put an end date in the future of when this tutorial is being done. What this allows the student to do is to be able to view the discussion again, but it's locked 
Oh, it's locked after. So they can start discussion. So after the 28th, that start a thread button will, will not be there. So that's the difference between this, the availability and locking options. So which method do you use? It's really up to you. You need to consider how you wish your dis to use the discussions within your class. But having an understanding of these options and how they behave both in the submission review area and in the course content area is really important. And again, I'm going to stress to you, do not set both and do not set them on the forums. Once again, do not set them on the forums. I went into discussion topic. This is the forum. Do not set the dates, any dates, on discussion forums. So now, given this information, you make your decision of how you want to set dates on discussions. And if you don't want to set any dates, that's fine too. That means your discussions are open from the beginning to the end of the semester.